Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, so far, I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will come for topics. and read a book and write a review on it. So that's what I did. And this book, by the way, will be written about and published on WordPress. So please be sure to look for that. And again, you can find a lot of scholarly practical application and reviews on things related to future horizons. So please be sure to check that out and check that in the description below. But what I wanted to do today is talk about something that is autism specific. I haven't done that in a while. As you know, I've been doing a lot of uh, vlogs that are daily or day in the life. And that's because I really love Casey Neistat and the way he does things. And so I've just decided to take this day in the life daily vlogging to a whole new level and show people that, uh, no, I'm not living in a group home and no, somebody else is not buying my own groceries for me. And speaking of which, I need to go out and get some groceries. And no, somebody else is not helping me pay my bills. And no, I don't have all these uh, special services. And no, I'm just a regular functioning adult like everybody else, and I want you guys to see that. So what I'd like to do today is um, give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. When I say that, I'm talking about stereotypes, and I'm talking about uh, the way some people make statements that are offensive. And this one is really offensive to me and a lot of others on the spectrum because people make comments like, well, there's a little bit of autism in every one of us. And I happen to run into someone else that uh, knows someone that said that comment and I had to get up and disagree with that. And no, there is not a little bit of autism in every one of us. Yes, autism is genetic. It's not a disease and it's not caused by vaccinations. That's bull crap. And as they say, that is such crap. On the contrary, <laughs> autism is not in everybody. I mean, just because someone has anxiety does not mean that they are mildly autistic. Okay, anxiety is a different ballpark and a different mental disorder. Uh, now there's sensory processing disorder, that's on the autistic spectrum. However, there are allistic slash neurotypicals who uh, don't like certain foods, they don't like certain textures, and that's a trait found in autism, but I don't think that means that they're autistic. I think that it means that they don't like that texture for whatever reason. I don't think that's a sensory processing disorder. I don't think that's autism. And the other thing I realize is that the little bit of autism in all of us, no, because uh, my brain is wired neurologically a lot different than my peers who are autistic, say here at work. They think a lot differently than I do, uh, for one thing. Uh, they can read facial expressions. They can read social skills. They can socialize better. For someone like me, I have social anxiety. I can't take hints and I can't take cues. Like, for instance, if you click up here in the upper right hand corner, this is an old Sesame Street joke about a chicken telling 
another um, a chicken telling what appears to be another chicken, but it's really a duck. Why did the chicken cross the road, but that they didn't get the joke? And see, there are a lot of people who are allistic that can pick that joke up. And someone like me would be really literal. And in this little cartoon that was put on Sesame Street, uh, she didn't get it that it was a joke. She thought that uh, he was asking her a serious question, why did the chicken cross the road? And see, we take everything literally. And a lot of times we can't tell the difference if someone's being serious or sarcastic. And see, there are a lot of autistics that don't have a clue. And there are a lot of autistics, or I mean, not autistics, but allistics that just don't have that clue. And that's really, really inconsiderate when you say that uh, there's a little bit of autism in every one of us. That is really annoying. Do your research before you go and say something like that. That's pathetic. And I don't like it. Anyway. I'm off for today. If you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and also be sure to share this on your um, media sources with your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who's on the spectrum.